In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do the JBoots quest. This port quest is very, very important, especially if you're on a TLP server that hasn't unlocked mounts uh, or that isn't up to Lucklin expansion pack. So for example, you may be on Mangler or a very, very fresh time lock progression server. And it's important that you get JBoots if you're not a class that has Spirit of Wolf or has um, Cellos or has a shaman in your group. So this is a great quest to do. It is a long quest, but it could be short or it could be long. And there's a lot of drops that take a little while to get. The first drop that you're gonna need is called the Ring of the Ancients. And I happen to have that Ring of the Ancients. If you're curious how to get the Ring of the Ancients, go back and watch the video called How to Farm the Ancient Cyclops for the Ring of the Ancients. That's the one you wanna watch. Uh, it can take you a while to do that. Uh, I've farmed it on in Ocean of Tears. That I feel is the best place because that island that you can farm it on can accommodate three groups out there. South Row is a lot smaller and there's a lot of people ready to jump on your Ancient Cyclops when he spawns. So go ahead and get it out there and you should be able to get it at the level that I'm at. I went out there in the high 30s, maybe 38 and it should not be a problem to pick that up at all. Uh, even if there's other people camping stuff, I've had it before where I've been out there just farming some uh, Cyclopses and ancient Cyclops popped up right in front of me. So they can't cover the whole island and there's always gonna be other pick zones. Okay, so let's go ahead and this is the first piece you're gonna need. The next piece you're gonna need is out here in the common lands. So after you get that, what I suggest you do is you come all the way in through East Freeport, then go through West Freeport and come all the way out to the Shadow Man camp. The reason why I suggest this one is if you're a wizard and you've just gotten your, um, your Ring of the Ancients, you can just port directly out here to the Wizard Spire. It's very, very close. And then another thing I like about this camp is the visibility is really good. And you can just sit out here. It's not really in the path of the hill giant or anything like that. You don't have to worry about stuff jumping you. Other Shadow Man camps are in darker areas. It's really up to you. They have them up in uh, Lava Storm and Neculus all over the place. But this is uh, my favorite because right after this, we're going to go and head to the next location. Okay, so what you need is you need the Shadow Rapier and it looks like, um, like a, a needle uh, on it. So let's go ahead and Go up. If you have invisibility on, you can go right up to them. They won't attack you. Uh, let's see, because they can't see through invisible. See, he can't see, and he can't see. By the way, level's 26, so you're going to have a little problem if you come out here and you're lower level. So see this uh, rapier that the Shadow Man has right here? Let me give you a close-up for it. And you can see he has it right here. But I want to tell you about how rare this drop is. In making this video, I had a higher, my higher level character clear this camp off many, many, many times. And I would estimate I cleared it off 20 times. The spawn rate's about six minutes or so, six, seven minutes. So you kind of do the math. That's a lot. That's almost two hours of clearing it off. Now I didn't do it on one sitting, but I did it randomly whenever I had a chance to do it. Therefore, expect a long wait here to uh, get this one item. You see there's only one shadow rapier. The other guys don't even have it. Now if you're high enough level you should be able to single pull but if you're a lower level and you can't single pull I would suggest using spells like root to control these guys to put them on lock. You also have screaming terror which is basically small mesmerize. This will give you a chance to do something. Or you can try to snare them and come with a feign death right here. This can work too. It may not work. Um, keep in mind also, the item that you're going to loot off this is no rent. So you can't just get it and then say, I'm going to go ahead and uh, log off and it'll be gone. So you have to do it the same day. Now there is a trick. I believe we're going to see if you can do this that uh, allows you to send this via parcel to uh, another character. I'm not sure if you can do it here, but uh, somebody had mentioned that it may be possible. We can always see if it is possible. That way you can get the item and hold it. But in general, once you've gotten to this point 
and the ring of the ancient is the hardest part to get and you've got that and you got you come out here and do this you're ready to go and get your j boots this this camp figured to be two hours some people have told me they got it first time they got here and getting hastened to spawn which is the next step after this that can be uh, a long time too but if you look at uh maybe four hours or so not bad at all for what you get the j boots do give you a 35 percent increase in run speed which is huge and on a fresh tlp server that's really really what you need because uh nobody can get around without spirit of wolf okay so what you're going to have here is you're going to have the pet here this guy's obviously a caster this can get ugly real fast he's green in general green guys will not come when you pull but you never know if you're lower level like i said and you you get more than one make sure you're ready to mess you get this at level 22 you get the root at level 34 so if you don't have the root be ready to mez them and kill this guy off right away the spells that we do have we have dooming darkness we have boiling boil blood boil blood is a good spell to use and we have venom of the snake so look at what the damage is on these guys 220 every six seconds that's just gonna fry one of these shadow men right up there and boiling blood also pop both of these on them two of these on one shadow man and they're as good as dead if you get in trouble you can pop dark soul which does even more damage and uh let me see let's just change this actually because we will need a life tap in this situation we're going to get a drain spirit you may not have drain spirit you may have something a little lower than this but this takes 314 hit points which is going to uh, bring us up uh, quite a bit we have plenty of hit points right here at this level like i said it should be a single pull so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and snare him and get him close to me and then we're going to go with the rest of the stuff okay so let's give it a try once again make sure your pet is buffed with augment death it's up to you if you if you get the cleric buffs uh not always necessary for this you shouldn't have any problem let's move in come on oh we're gonna get this guy here this is the one with the rapier this one we want let's go ahead and and uh snare him there you go see he comes right by himself and dun, 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 send the pet in on him and that's all basically we need to do right here you can even root him and you can see he's he's as good as dead right there the pets can just chew him up right by himself none of the other ones came but like i said if you're doing this at a lower level and maybe they're all blue you're going to get all of them that come after you right away so the pet can just munch this guy i, I, don't, I could use other spells but i want to show you um just what you can do the pet is a level 39 pet so this is the easy part Getting this guy to spawn and the rapier is the hard part. That's going to take a while. So, okay, so you got your root. Let's see here. You got your snare. And you're going to cough it up right now. There it is. Shadowed rapier. That's what we want. We don't want this other junk here. I'm going to take the shadowed rapier. And this is a lore, temporary, um, quest, and placeable. So this is uh, kind of interesting. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get a ride out to where we're going to go and we're going to pick up and get on our ride and hey look who comes over here this is nature boy he's going to go ahead and he's going to teleport to bind uh let's see i should have invited him it just takes a little while He's going to prepare to teleport to bind out into the Wrath Mountains. Hello, come on. There we go. Okay, so he's with us and we're headed out there. Let me double check. And we're headed out to the Wrath Mountains and I'll show you the next step. There we go. And we should be on our way. what happened there we go teleport to bind I casted the camo first and we're lifting off okay into the wrath mountains now you're the best way to get there 
if you've got a druid that can port you is get them to port you into the fear rot and it's a quick easy run over there they can port you to fear rot and if you listen carefully as soon as you land hit succor you'll land even closer and it's a really quick run into the wrath mountains uh, let me show you where we are right now this is this way i'm going to move this way we are right here and this is the area where you want to look for uh, a couple placeholders for this mob and the placeholders you want to look for are uh, it's a drake and there's also a grizzly bear also uh brother zephyl or whatever zephyr he's another one you want to uh, look out for too okay so here we are up around the camp and the hill giant area what you want to look for is this drake here this drake is going to track all the way through to here he comes right over the hill giant hill we're going to track him and i'm going to show you where he tracks this is the placeholder for hasten it's either this or it's the grizzly bear so notice his name a drake and the grizzly bear will be a grizzly bear but this time we're going to follow him it's about a five minute timer hasten is a rare spawn um, so we're going to go this way, and there's a drake. He's going to stop right there. He should be headed down that way. Yep, he's headed down this alley. And once he heads down there, he's going to head all the way out to Never Never Land. And you're never going to see him again. But the thing is to stay up here, and you can see he goes straight down there. Uh, he is level 24, so he's going to go down this way right there. We're going to kill him off and uh, he should spawn another one or hopefully hasten will spawn we've been waiting for him a long long time and with this rapier being no rent that's a big problem it really is so there he goes okay let's just as i mentioned he's going that way let's go ahead and hit him up with this and let's just get him out of the picture here he drops uh, basalt drake stuff he is one of the placeholders and this is the area right here you can see him coming over a good area to hang out in that is right about maybe here or maybe this is a big good spot right here because that way when he comes right over the hill you can nail him as soon as possible so we're going to wait for hasten to show up but that is where the basalt drake spawns on the other side of this hill and he comes straight over here and he goes down here and comes out there that's what we know of him so far okay we'll come back when we get him and this is the other placeholder he is the grizzly bear he spawns right up on top of this hill and comes down this way just like the drake they come down the same old way so uh this is a placeholder you can wait right here generally or you can wait in that alley down there and you should see your grizzly bear so just a heads up, the spawn time is about five minutes. Now, if you've had trouble getting Hasten to spawn and you're just out there and you're just trying to kill the Drake and you're trying to kill the Grizzly Bear and you, you haven't had a, any success in getting him at all and you're running out of time, here's a nice tip you can, uh, you can use. It'll allow you to resume it later. What I've done is I've gone to the bazaar. Now, of course, this requires your server be up to at least Luckland so that the bazaar is active and I've come into the bazaar and I've set up a trader here if you're curious how to set up a trader I have a video uh, for that just go ahead and uh, search my videos for bazaar and uh, what I've done is I've gotten the, the sack here trader satchel to go ahead and set up and I put it inside I put this is a shadowed rapier I put it in here and I offered it for sale I just put in two million right here you can't see it all the way there's a two you can barely see but two million in there so nobody will buy your rapier and if they do well hey you're two million richer and that's worth it that's a deal for me but I put it in here so that you can uh, go ahead and store it in there overnight and then you can uh, log off in offline mode I'll show you how to do that you can go ahead and begin trader and then you can click this in offline mode this will allow you to uh, log off and to still have your um, rapier up right here see the price is two million right there so this is how you do it and then when you're ready to get back out there let's put it back up when you're ready to get back out there all you have to do is go and um, pick it up take it out of this and resume your hunting of hasten so i hope this helps everybody 
And we're going to get right back to uh, trying to get Hasten to spawn. Been at it for over an hour and no luck. But uh, with this method, you can take your time and not have to do the Shadow Men over and over. All right, guys, we're back. And uh, yeah, finally, finally got the guy. And I'm going to go ahead and show you where he is so you can see on the map where he is. And um, <clears throat> basically, I had to use my other character to hail him because the other character was sitting here killing off the um, placeholders and um, had to get them to hail him so that I could run back here. Actually, I gated back here and came up to the guy. So what you're going to need to do, you're going to need to give him the rapier. You're going to need to give him 325 platinum and you're going to need to give him the ring of ancients. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And so first things first is you take this, you take, give him the rapier, and you give him 325 platinum. Okay, so there you go. Let's give it to him. And there we go. We have gotten the J boots. You can use your, use your other character to hail him. And these are the J boots. We finally got them. You can activate them out of inventory. Let's take off Spirit of Wolf here. And let's go. And there you go. We have gotten the J boots finally. Now. <laughs> Now this little turkey, it took forever and ever and ever to spawn. He is uh, level 40. We could kill him if we wanted to, get some extra experience for it, but that's okay. Let him, um, let other people get him. So if they're doing the quest, usually what's nice to do is when you're out here and you get Hasten, uh, Hasten um, go out and OOC and let everybody know that he's here so that they can get him because it's a real pain just killing stuff. It took well over an hour. To get him to spawn and uh, other people will be very appreciative if you do that it's a good thing and other people will do the same thing for you sometimes sometimes people will kill him just for the heck of it so uh just want to let you know anyway good luck guys and hope you get the j boots it's it's well worth it thanks for watching